Well, our work is 100% in the state of Pará, which is in the north of the country, is, is, is the territory which 25% of all small-scale fishers in Brazil are located, which means more than 224 fishers. Unfortunately, um, the governor of the state of Pará also got COVID, so he's, he has been ill. Access to the communities is essentially closed. Basic transportation within the communities and essential services are allowed, but not much else. Access to information terms that people can understand is hard, so people struggle to understand the disease and how to prevent it. Access to food outside to uh, catch fish themselves is, is difficult. Well, sometimes there's no internet connection and, and limited cell phone connection. In most of the areas that we work, sometimes we can communicate via WhatsApp, but not all of them. Our team cannot travel to the community right now. Uh, early this year, we produce uh, training materials, but we haven't been able to distribute or apply them. It's hard to sell fish, but we, we have learned that the communities are exchanging products. Uh, for example, they might say to each other, you catch crabs, I catch fish, let's exchange. So the small scale fishery is help ensuring um, food security. We've worked hard to build and enhance local leadership, local governors now know how to tap into larger municipalities and other government resources. In the past, these leaders didn't have the capacity, all the capacity, to ask for what they need. But now, as a result of training and capacity building of rare stuff, it's fair to say that they have learned to apply these skills to mobilize people, to build movements. And, and also RARE now is acting as a liaison between local governments and private sector. A lot of companies are stepping up to provide access to things like soap, food, but the local government haven't necessarily know how to tap into those resources. So we, we are uh, serving as a, as a bridge we are also connecting these local leaders with other types of aid, other, uh, let's say, organizations that are more focused in, in aid. Solidarity, it's what gives me hope. People are sharing and helping each other. People are not waiting, the community is not waiting for an NGO to solve the problem around food security especially. They are taking action themselves and, and I believe that we all get through this. So let's stay safe and cheers from Brazil.